Now, Hasbro last week had their little event, 1027, uh, you know, and they had a bunch of other product reveals, small about, but like every everyone was basically jumping in from wherever Hasbro has, and they announced a few products. Now, I'm only going to go over with, with Star Wars, and Marvel did. Now, Star Wars, they were uh, straight to the point, actually really uh, great, because they just said, hey, this is what we're making, this is what's coming out, and that's it. <laughs> and they walked out. So, uh, a few were already announced, so like we already knew we were getting Bib, uh, Echo. Uh, I mean, we all kind of knew Echo would eventually have been made, but then we get Omega 2, and... Uh, she was one that was also a pipeline reveal, so we knew she was coming. So, uh, for the Star Wars team, they really did go straight to the point with Black Series. They had nothing for Vintage Collection, and that doesn't bother me. I'm not a Vintage Collector. But as for Black Series, uh, the only thing that was a, a bother at all to me was with Omega. And they were like, yeah, you know, here's Omega. Uh, it she comes with a bunch of accessories. She comes with three accessories. That's not a bunch, uh, you know, let me know when you, you're saying you, you, you're going to have seven. Uh, but, you know, of course, it's Hasbro. They would have probably made her a deluxe figure at that point, even though it would have been like, whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, it's definitely, like, just weird with uh, the Star Wars Black Series team lately with pricing. Cause, uh, but now, uh, moving on with Marvel. Marvel, they only announced two items. However, we still had to sit there for 25 minutes through an interview that no one wanted to watch. Uh, we literally just watched Dan geek out, and then we just wait there patiently, waiting for a figure to get announced. And then by the time we get to it, we get Iron Spider, which is uh, the coolest one from from that day. <laughs> they only announced two figures, right? But uh, Iron Spider, he's going to be coming. Uh, this was a figure that obviously did need to get updated and uh, definitely earned a figure uh now they don't know how they wouldn't say exactly where it's going to get released or anything uh but if i had to say i would guess that it's going to be a part of the spider-man 60 years line next year um maybe a fan channel spider-man thing that's that's my guess on it uh could be a part of a wave doubt it's a part of a box set that like they try to mention but i think it's going to be like some spider-man anniversary line and there's going to be nostalgia to the movies and comics. Uh, I'm going to guess that's how they're going to play next year. Similar to how they did the Marvel 80 years uh, anniversary thing. They kind of did that. And then they released these fan channels in regular boxes. I remember these were like at GameStop, Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store. I feel like Iron Spider is going to be right there. And, and somewhere uh, in there. That's just my guess though. I have obviously no idea. But that's my thought on that. And then uh, for their big reveal, uh, you get Mr. Sinister. Now he's 100% a repaint. He's just animated style. They got some shading. And yeah, even the guy they were interviewing had to ask the question, Is who, who's that again? That's Mr. Sinister? Okay. Um, so anyway, with Mr. Sinister... Uh, this definitely tells you one thing, that the VHS line is going to be much bigger. Ryan, during that little interview, he already said it's going to be a big collection. And then all of a sudden, he changed his words towards the end. He said, yeah, we got uh, a couple for uh, this, and that's it. But obviously, uh, if you look at Hasbro Pulse's site, maybe they already removed it. I'm not sure. But they did uh, leak that um, Jean Grey and Storm are going to be a part of this. Uh, I'm going to guess that... Jean Grey is going to be definitely heavy on that shading storm, possibly too, but maybe not. I, I'm not sure. Uh, because one of the, the questions, I, I don't think it was during this interview, but they were saying that the shading is going to be here and there with some figures. I believe that's what Dan mentions. Um, and we're just going to see some figures here and there with shading, and some probably will have it, some won't. Um, I'm going to guess characters like like if, if they ever do morph ever uh he'd be one that probably wouldn't have the shading because people have just been waiting so 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 long this is the time to have him come out really too um and without having morph it's just kind of getting meh but uh with that being said though with them introducing mr sinister that just means that they're going to be doing a bunch of villains too we're talking Magneto, we're talking Sabretooth. Th these guys are probably going to get animated style shadings like 
people did want to see Sabretooth get remade. Uh, and obviously he has like the white fur coat for the figure we got right now, but maybe they'll go with the yellow. They'll, there's, so, there's some things here and there. And depending on how successful and how much people actually want this, because Venom is what's really starting all this, because people are like, people demanded to see a uh, an animated style figure that pretty much everyone already had, but they wanted to get that shading for, you know, uh, some reason. Uh, so now uh, these, there's going to be a lot more sublines, I'm guessing. I'm guessing we'll see uh, Spider-Man again down the road uh, with black extra shading around just to match him in the animated series. I can see Daredevil, huge, getting getting uh, and, and shading animated style figure. Uh, figures just to basically have Hasbro avoid making new characters and redoing the same ones. Uh, but the only unfortunate thing about it, and this sucks because like collectors like myself, like that's how I got introduced. So when you see product, you're like, oh man, I wish you did that one first. So maybe we'll see some stuff like that. Um, you know, I mean, figures are hit or misses here and there, right? I, I think the Wolverine and Jubilee were pretty good. Mr. Sinister is definitely the downside here, though. I'm just like, damn. For $26.99, no accessories, no build-a-figure piece, just a box that you don't even see the figure in. It's just a figure. Why is he not $22.99? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> obviously, most fans probably have no idea. Uh, but it's it's pretty much that Hasbro's just saying, hey, let's milk you dry and make you pay more. Um, and yeah, I mean, if it works out for them, they'll, they'll keep going. Uh, I, I know there's definitely some people like it's hard to say no to uh, something that big that actually matters. But um, yeah, that that being said, you know, the 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 line is definitely going to be a, a distraction to getting new characters a hundred percent. Now we are probably going to see more accurate ones that we'd like better though. I think, um, it's just, it's just the way it's being released is terrible. You know, there's no build a figure pieces. There's nothing really cr crazy about it. Jubilee had like loaded accessories. Wolverine loaded accessories. Um, Mr. Sinister though, they, they had nothing to show with him. They're just like, yeah, here he is. And his box is bigger because of the cape, of course. But they're really just like, yep, that is absolutely it. You are getting nothing else from us. So uh, I'm going to expect to see figures like Sabretooth coming with absolutely nothing. Um, whatever other figures down the road they might get. Uh, I, I don't know how, how big they're trying to make this. I think they're only going to go after like the big characters and then disappear. But... You know, you just got to think about uh, some of those other characters. You know, Magneto, Omega Red probably would get one. Uh, that's all I have to say, though. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. And uh, make sure to come back and check out my other future content. Some old ones, too.